Good morning, friends. Today's read aloud is How Sweet House by Judith Bauer Stamper. Look at the family walking on the sidewalk. Families live in all kinds of houses. There are big houses, little houses, plain houses, and houses in all colors of the rainbow. No matter what it looks like, a family's house is its home. Look at how colorful it looks. Oh. Some homes are built for just one family. Other buildings contain homes for many people. In the city, many families may live in one tall apartment building. In a small town, families often live in separate houses with their neighbors close by. Look. In the country, a family lives in a farmhouse. Might be by the only family for miles around. Look at the farm. Wouldn't you want to live on a farm? Houses come in different shapes. Some are square, some are round, and some shapes are a surprise. And a frame house has a large sloped roof that goes all the way to the ground. A-frames are often built in snowy areas between snow slides right off. See the snow? In one part of China, people live in Tullus. A Tullus is an O-shaped building with apartments circling the center. Some houses on the edge of the desert are shaped like beehives with people living inside. Would you want to live in one of these? People sometimes build houses out of whatever they find close at hand. In rocky places, people gather up stones, stack them on top of each other, and make sturdy houses that last a long time. Wow. In dry places, people mix together mud and straw, shape it into walls, and build houses from earth. On tropical islands, people turn palm trees into cool, leafy houses that let the breezy blow through. Would you want to live in a tropical area? where there's no snow. People build houses almost anywhere near the water, under the ground, and up in treetops. People along rivers build their houses on stilts to keep their families high and dry. Some people live underground in houses that are high, hidden from sight. Other people build houses high up in the treetops to stay safe from wild animals. Many houses stay in one place, but some houses can travel along wherever a family goes. Sheep herds in Mongolia live in houses called yurts, why white tents that can be taken down, folding up and carried to a new place. People who live on house boats can anchor their home at a dock or travel up and down a river. There are even houses on wheels. Families can drive their mobile homes anywhere and have their houses with them when they stop. Would you want to live in a mobile home or something that moves? Long ago in America, houses looked very different from the kind of houses we live in today. Native Americans build houses that fit their way of life. Those who travel the Great Plains live in tipsies that they could move with them when they when they haunted buffalo haunted buffalo Ooh. some native americans build dome shaped dwellings out of thatched grass settlers who came to america built long cabins in the woods they cut down trees notched the ends of the logs and stacked them up to make warm wooden houses doesn't that look fun some houses are famous all over the world because important people live there. The White House in Washington, D.C. is the house of the President of the United States and the first family. <gasps> Wouldn't you want to go there and visit? Building, Buildingham Palace is the London home of the King of 
king or queen of England, visitors come to watch the chanting of the guards. Forbidden city stands in Beijing, China, and is now a museum. Long ago, it was the imperial places of Chinese imperiors. Wouldn't you want to visit a fun place like that? Houses give people protection, comfort, and warmth. A tent in the Saharian desert has sides that can roll up to catch a breeze or roll down when there's a sandstorm. In the freezing weather of the Arctic, a igloo made of snow can become a temporary home for hundreds and hunters and travelers. A house with burning fireplaces can make a family feel cozy and comfortable. Which would you choose? Houses are places to eat, sleep, work, and play. Kitchens are busy places in homes all over the world. Families make everything from burritos and brianus to barbecue. Everyone has a chore to do around the house. It might be sweeping the steps, feeding the chickens, or doing the dishes. At night, a house is where you snuggle up, fall asleep, and have sweet dreams. There are all kinds of houses, and there are all kinds of families. Families are what makes a house a home. Where do you live? What is special about your house? Thank you for listening with me today.